Lesson Day Test. Last week, we have discussed about the IgG common blood groups. Majority of these groups react at AHG phase and cause hemolytic transfusion reactions and hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn. And now, I will discuss about the IgM common blood groups. At the end of this week, you are able to trace the discovery of other blood group systems and blood group collections, explain the basis of ISDT nomenclature for the blood group systems and blood group collections, characterize the phenotypes, antigens, and antibodies of the other blood group systems and blood group collections, discuss the frequencies of the antigen and antibodies of the other blood group systems and blood group collections, explain the importance of the other blood group systems and blood group collections, describe how antigens, antibodies, genes, and phenotypes are correctly written. We have discussed this last week already and List four categories for classification of RBC surface antigens used by ISBT. This was also discussed already. And lastly, for each of the blood group systems described, list the major antigens and common phenotypes, describe the serologic characteristics and clinical significance of the antibodies, and identify null phenotypes. blood group system. The ISBT number is 007 and the ISBT symbol is capital LE. The Lewy system is unique because it is not intrinsic to RBC but, or, but are on type 1 glycosphingolipids that are adsorbed onto the RBC membrane from the plasma. It was first described by Morant in the year 1946. It was named after one of the individuals to make the anti-Lewis A. Anti-Lewis A reacted to 25% among the English. In the year 1948, Antigen Lewis B was discovered and anti Lewis B was uh, made by Lewis A negative individuals. The Lewis antigen, the Lewis antigens resulted from the interaction of two pupusil transferases encoded by the independent genes LE, Italize, and Secretor. LE FUT3 gene is located at chromosome 19 at position 19P 19P13P. So this is the location of the gene responsible for the uh, Lewis antigens. Lewis antigens are found on lymphocytes, platelets, pancreas, stomach, intestine, skeletal muscle, renal cortex, and adrenal glands. You can also see soluble antigens in the saliva. These antigens are resistant to enzymes like lysin, papain, DTT, and lysine acid enta. Please take note that Lewis gene 
must be present to convert the precursor substance to Lewis A antigen and secretor gene for the conversion of Lewis B antigen. Table 8.7 shows the phenotypes of the Lewis system and its prevalence. LE8 positive B negative have a prevalence have a prevalence of 22% in whites and 22% in blacks. LEA negative B positive 72% in whites, 55% in blacks. LEA negative B negative, so this is the null phenotype, so 6% only in whites and 22% in blacks. And LE a positive, B positive are both rare in whites and blacks, but this phenotype is about 10 to 40 percent in Asians. LEA positive are non secretors of ABH. LEA negative, B positive are ABH secretors and LEA negative B negative are either of the two. Table 8.8 .8 will show you the antigens of the Lewis blood group system. So this is the antigens of the Lewis blood group system so you will only have six so this is their ISPT number and their corresponding antibodies Lewis antibodies are enhanced by enzyme treated RBCs they are naturally occurring. Mostly, they are made by uh, Lewis A negative, B negative individuals. So, Lewis antibodies uh, are mostly IgM, so they do not cross the placenta. So, since they do not cross the placenta, they will not also cause hemolytic disease of the fetus and new newborn. Both Lewis A and Lewis B can be uh, uh, may appear together and can be neutralized by Lewis substances in the plasma and saliva. Lewis antibodies agglutinate and Lewis antibodies agglutinate saline suspended RBCs but these agglutinates are fragile and can be easily dispersed. These antibodies binds complement. Anti-Lewis A cause in vitro hemolysis to enzyme-treated RBCs if serum is fresh. Anti-Lewis A is the most encountered antigen, uh, uh, antibody rather, and it is detected at room temperature, sometimes at 37 degrees Celsius and in IAT phase. anti Lewis A that reacts at 37 degrees Celsius and at IAT phase cause rare hemolytic transmission reaction. So, delicado ang individual na may anti Lewis A na matransfusan ng Lewis A positive blood. Pero don't worry kasi easy lang maghanap ng 
Louis A. negative units kasi 80% sa population ay secretors. Persons with uh, LEA negative B positive phenotypes don't make anti Louis A because there are small amounts of Louis A sa plasma and saliva nila. Anti Louis B is not common compared to uh, anti-Lewis A. Anti-Lewis B is IgM and can bind complement. It is made by Lewis A positive B negative individuals. This one. Anti-Lewis B is classified into two categories. Anti uh, Lewis BH, this one, and anti Lewis BL. Anti Lewis BH reacts best when both Lewis B and H antigens are present on RBCs. Like for example, group O and A2 cells. Anti-Lewis BL recognizes any Lewis B antigen, regardless of the ABO type. Before I proceed, Please take note that Lewis antigens are not intrinsic to the RBCs. Uh, intrinsic to the RBC membrane and are readily shed from transfused RBCs within few days of transfusion. These are the characteristics of Lewis antibodies and I already said this on the previous slide. So I will just get, will run through this. So Lewis antibodies are naturally occurring made by Lewis A negative B negative individuals. They are mostly IgM and do not cross the placenta. They can be enhanced by enzyme treated, uh, enzyme -treated RBCs and they bind complement. Anti Lewis A is the most encountered antibody and reacts at room temperature, sometimes at 37 degrees Celsius and IAT phase. So, anti LEA was made by individuals transfused with Lewis A positive individuals. So, ito yung sinabi ko kanina na. Yung individuals na may anti-LEA are uh, delikado matansfusan ng LEA positive na blood units. Pero don't worry, again, um, <clears throat> easy lang makakita ng LEA negative, uh, LEA negative blood units because 80% of the population are secretors. LEA negative B positive don't make anti Lewis A uh, Lewis A and then anti LEB are made by Lewis A positive B negative individuals so there are two categories of anti LEB so there there is anti LEBH and anti <coughs> Lewis BL so anti Lewis PH reacts best when both Lewis B and H antigens are present on the RBC. So, for example, O cells and B cell, uh, A2 cells. And then, anti Lewis BL recognizes antigens regardless the ABO type. So, again, Lewis antigens are not intrinsic to the RBC membrane and are readily shed from transfused RBCs within a few days of 
transfusion. Lewis blood group substances present in transfused plasma neutralizes Lewis antibodies in the recipient. So, uh, Lewis antibodies rarely cause hemolysis of transfused RBCs. Baka nagtataka kayo, bakit ako nasasabi kanina ng secretor, non-secretor, etc. Et so, this is the reason why. The Lewis, uh, Lewis gene, LEFUT3, secretor gene, SEFUT2, and the H gene, FUT1, are all located at chromosome 19. Synthesis of antigens depends on the transferases produced by Lewis and secretor antigens, as uh, secretor genes rather. So they have the beta 1 3 linkage. Secretor enzyme is the alpha 1 2 mucosyl transferase. Lewis enzyme is the alpha 1 4 mucus, uh, L mucosyl transferase. Lewis A and Lewis B are not antithetical and this is the weak secretor. The secretor enzyme, alpha 1 2 L fucosyl transferase, adds fucose to the type 1 precursor chain. So, ito yung type 1 precursor chain. So, ma add yung fucose, and thus will become the type 1 H precursor chain. So, the Lewis enzyme, alpha 1,4 l fucosyl transferase, will add another fucose to the type 1, to the type 1 H substance. So, this one, another fucose, and thus will become the Lewis B antigen. Some precursor chains are not acted by the secretor enzyme and may accept L-fucose from the Lewis enzyme and then thus will convert to LEA antigen. So if these individuals are A and B groups, so the Type 1 H structure will be converted to type 1, uh, will be converted to A and B. So this will become the type 1 A and type 1 B. And then the Lewis enzyme, alpha, alpha 1 for L fucosyl transferase, will add fucose to the substance. So, fucose added to type 1A. So, this will become the DALEB antigen and fucose added to the type 1B. So, this will become the BLEB antigen. Non-secretors don't have enzyme to produce um, type 1H substance. So, mini available si type 1 precursor chain. So, dyan papasok si Lewis enzyme, which results again to Lewis A antigen sa secretion ng non-secretors. And, LEA positive, B negative yung RBCs nila. B negative kasi di nagko-convert si LEA to B dahil may Dahil my steric hindrance from the fucose added to make LEA. So, ito yung reason na hindi sila antithetical. So, some have the weak uh, secretor genes. So, capital S, small letter E, small letter S, small letter E. So, common ito in Asia mga uh, about 10 to 40 percent.
So, this uh, weak secretor gene will produce fucosyl transferase that competes with the Dewey's enzyme, resulting to the production of LEA and LEB phenotype. So, meaning LEA positive, B positive na phenotype. So, in table 8.9, you will see antigens and phenotypes resulting from interaction of Lewis secretor and ABO genes. So this one is the uh, Lewis A negative B positive phenotype. So my ABH din siya sa RBC, LEA negative B positive sa RBC phenotype. So Sa genes niya, meron siyang uh, Lewis and secretor A, B, and H. So, so these are, these individuals will be secretors which will secrete uh, both LEA and LEB. Meron ding A, B, H. This one is the uh, silent or amorphic allele. So, silent si Lewis. So, ibig sabihin si ABH lang ang nasa secretions. And then, sa RBC, also ABH. But, yung Lewis phenotype niya is Lewis A negative, B negative. This one, um, Lewis, meron siyang Lewis gene pero non secretor siya. So meron lang siyang LEA sa uh, secretions and then yung RBC phenotype will be ABH LEA positive B negative. This one is amorphic yung Lewis non secretor pero may ABH so, sa antigen, sa secretion, wala. Kasi both are silent and amorphic. Sa RBC phenotype, meron tayong ABH. Pero, yung phenotype niya sa Lewis is Lewis A negative, B negative. This, have the Lewis antigen. Pero, secretor siya, a uh, non-secretor rather. And, small h, h, yung um, ABO niya, meron siyang A and B. So, meaning, may antigens siya na LEA sa secretions, and then, ito yung Bombay phenotype, and yung Lewis niya, Lewis phenotype niya is LEA positive B negative. Lastly, um, meron tayong Lewis gene and secretor gene, Pero small HH and then AB. So, sa antigens in secretion will be LEA, LEB, ABH. Pero, dito sa RBC phenotype, A and B. And then, LEA negative B positive. So, this one is uh, parabom by fa uh, phenotype. So, Lewis cell-bound antigens are adsorbed from the plasma to RBC because they are dicolipids. So, for example, the LEA negative B negative can be converted to LEA positive B negative and LEA negative B positive if incubated with LEA positive or LEB positive respectively. Lewis antigens produced in the saliva can't be adsorbed on the RBC because they are glycoproteins. Lewis antigens are found in newborns, are an LEA and LEB glycoproteins present in the saliva. Glycolipids not detectable in plasma until 10 days after birth. 
LEA appear shortly after birth because if a uh, Lewis gene is present, mas competitive and active ito kaysa sa secretor gene. So, mas maraming mavacant na type 1 precursor chain to be converted to LEA antigen. But, later on, mag increase na yung secretor enzyme. So, mas marami na ang makoconvert to type 1H2 and then to LEB. So, bottom line, <coughs> Children, bottom line, children with the Lewis and the secutor gene will be LEA negative, B negative at birth, LEA positive, B negative after 10 days, then LEA positive, B positive, lastly will become LEA negative, B positive after 6, after six years, and this will be the true phenotype. If, if my Lewis gene and non-secretor, so first will be LEA B negative, LEA negative B negative at birth, then LEA positive B negative after 10 days, and this will be the true phenotype. And lastly, the LE silent, silent allele, so magiging LEA negative, B negative siya at birth until the rest of his life. Other antigens in the Lewis system, LEAB is present in, in LEA positive, B negative, and LEA negative, B positive individuals. This is found 90% in cord RBCs. Formerly known as LEX, but renamed by the ISB team in the year 1998. Antibodies are found uh, with anti-LEA and anti-LEB, and they are heterozygous. They occur mainly in LEA negative B negative secretors of group A1, B, and A1B individuals. The antigens LEX and LEY are not part of the Lewis system because they are products of the FUT3 gene on type 2 precursor chain. And they are not also associated with the RBC surface. Copy the group system. So P1 PK bad group system, the 003 system will have B P1 PK and more. The globocyte blood group system 028 will have the P and PX2. The globocyte collections will be 209 will have the look. So, Hans Steiner and Devine um, discovered uh, discovered the discovered anti P from injected rabbits with human RBC. So, NTP, and they classified these uh, individuals as P positive and P negative. In 1951, Levine and colleagues described anti TJA. But later on, um, Sanger um, showed its relation to the P blood group system, so nagiging anti P, P1, PK. So, 
po because na-prove ni Sanger na si anti-TGA is included at the pre-blood group system. So, na-change yung mga names. So, anti-P, magiging anti-P1. P positive will be P1, subscript P1. P negative, P subscript 2. And P null will be the small p. In the year 1959, Matson and co-workers described the new antigen PK. PK is expressed on all RBCs. Table 8.10 will show you the P blood group phenotypes, antigens, and antibodies. So, there are two common phenotypes, the P1 and P2, and the rest are rare. P1 phenotypes don't react with anti- uh, P1 phenotypes reacts with anti-P and anti-P1. Meaning to say, my P1 and PK antigens, non-possible antibodies. P2 don't react with anti-P but re anti-P1 but reacts with anti-P. So meaning my P and PK antigens ha? and my anti-P1 sa possible antibodies. <clears throat> so if you test RBCs with anti-P1 only, the phenotype result should be P1 positive or P subscript 1. Or P1 negative. If P1 negative is tested with anti P and reacted with it, they will be designated as P2. The small p null, null phenotype don't react with anti P1, anti P, or anti PK. So it uh, null phenotypes don't have antigens present but have the anti-P, P1, PK antibody. P1K react with anti-P1 and anti-PK. So, not with anti-P. So, meron siyang P1, PK antigen, and anti-P antibody. P2K have the PK antigen and have the anti-P, anti-P1 antibody. So, in the prevalence, P1 is 94% in blacks, 74% in whites, P2, 21% in whites, 6% in blacks. The null phenotype, phenotype is rare in both races. P1, P1K and P2K are very rare in both races. The P blood group antigens are synthesized by glycosyl transferase which add sugar to precursor substances like the ABH. Found in RBCs, uh, found on RBC, lymphocytes, granulocytes, monocytes. So this will be the P1P and PK. They are also found in platelets, epithelial cells, fibroblasts. P is also found uh, in the plasma. They are resistant to pisin, papain, BTP, chloroquine, and glycine acid enta. Antibody reactivity are enhanced by enzyme-treated RBCs. The P1 antigen are poorly expressed at birth. It will took 7 years to be fully expressed. Antigen, antigen strength um, P1 plus will be P1, there is P1 positive strong and there will be P1 positive weak. Blacks have stronger expression of P1 than whites. And if P individuals inherit the gene mutation in in Lu, in Lutheran system, the P1 expression will be affected and type as P1 negative. P1 antigen, deteriorate, deteriorate, uh, P1 antigen 
editor your dates rapidly in storage. So, using of old RBCs may result to false negative reaction. Number P1 are naturally occurring IgM found in the sera of P1 negative individuals. They are weak, cold reactive saline agglutinine and reactive at 4 degrees Celsius. They are not seen in routine testing. They are rarely reacts at 37 degrees Celsius and binds complement. Anti P1 that reacts at 37 degrees Celsius cause in vivo RBC destruction that may lead to immediate and delayed HDR. But anti-P1 is usually IgM, rare lang yung IgG, and antigens are poorly developed in fetal RBCs. So HDFN is not associated with this antibody. Other sources of P1 antigen and antibody so, anti-P1 may be found in Echinococcus granulosus tapeworms and strong anti-P1 are found in Fasciolysis, bovine liver fluke disease. To synthesize P blood group system, there are two pathways. The common precursor is the, lacto is the lactosyl ceramide or GB2 or ceramide dihexose or CDH. The left pathway results in the formation of P1 antigen and the PX2. And the right forms the globoside series PK P nor and look A4 G A L T the the P1PK gene codes for the production of the enzyme 4 alpha galactosyl transferase or GB3 or PK synthase to synthesize PK. The globoside gene P3 GALNT1 encodes the 3 beta and acetyl galactosaminyl transferase to convert PK to P. The PK synthase ties uh, P1 and PK antigen together to which P1 was renamed to P1 PK system. So, ibig sabihin yun, um, same yung uh, enzyme nila. Ito and ito. So, nagiging P1 PK system. The P1 PK gene A4GALT is located at chromosome 22 at position 22Q13.2. And the globoside B3 GALT1 gene is located on chromosome 3 at position 3Q25. The synthesis for the synthesis for look is not yet been cloned. So <clears throat> A4GALT will also convert P antigen to an NOR. So, NOR, PK, and P1 are in the same system.
Anti-Tithi P1PK, formerly known as Anti-TJA, was first described from Mrs. J who had adenocarcinoma of the stomach. Her tumor cells carry P antigen system, P system, and the antibodies um, prevent metastatic growth post-surgery. The T means uh, tumor. Anti-P, P1, PK are produced by the null phenotypes. The components of the anti-P, P1, PK are separable through adsorption. So these components are the P, P1, and PK. They are usually IgG and IgM, which reacts at wide thermal range and bind complement, which make them potent hemolysins. So because they are potent hemolysins, they cause severe HDRs and HDNF. They are associated with increased incidence of abortions in early pregnancy, but women having anti-P and anti-P-P1-PK with history of multiple abortions have successfully given birth after multiple plasmapheresis to reduce their antibody level during pregnancy. The allo anti-P are naturally, naturally occurring found in the sera of PK individuals, result at, uh, reacts at 37 degrees Celsius, and binds complement. They are also potent hemolysins, reacting to all cells except autocontrol and the small p phenotype. They do not react with uh, PK phenotype. IgG allo anti P is associated with habitual early abortion. Auto anti P, a cold reactive IgG associated with paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria or PCH. PCH was seen in patients with tertiary syphilis and now it presents as a transient acute condition secondary to viral infection. IgG auto and auto antibody. It is also a biphasic hemolysin. So meaning in in vitro it binds to RBCs in the cold temperature. In complement activation, the coated RBCs lies when warm at 37 degrees Celsius. The loop or T209 system was discovered by Tippett and his colleagues in the year 1965. We, uh, they describe an antibody from a patient with Hodgkin's lymphoma. The, uh, the loop system have three phenotypes, loop positive, loop weakly positive, and loop negative. So loop positive 80%, loop weakly positive 14%, and loop negative 2% among the population. It is associated with metastasis and renal carcinoma. Look antigen is found 80% in all population. It is expressed in cord cells and resistant to enzymes. Look expression is decreased in secretor individuals having a 3 to 4 fold decreased risk of E. coli infections. It reacts with all RBCs except 2, P1, P2, P, and PK phenotypes. Look antibodies are rare, IgM, and reacts at room temperature and below. Some binds complement.
So far, there is no report of HDR and HDFN. PX2 antigen is added to the globoside collection in 2010. If PK individuals react with the null phenotype, the result will be PP1PK negative. PX2 antigen is a product of B, B3, GAL, and T1. So, so, this is why it was transferred to globoside blood group system, 0 to 8. It is found 99.9% .9 in the population, present in co cord cells, and enhanced by enzyme treatment. Antibodies are naturally occurring, and IgG with mixture of IgM reacts best at IAT with popping treated RBCs. There are no data about HDR and HDFN. Disease association. Anti-T1 is associated with parasitic infection, especially with Echinococcus granulosus. Anti-P, P1PK, or Anti-P are associated with abortions. Auto-Anti-P is associated with PCH or paroxysmal called hemoglobinuria. T antigens are associated with urinary tract infections. They serve as because they serve as receptors for T fimbriated uropathogenic pathogenic E. coli. T antigens are also receptors for human parvovirus B19. PK antigen is a receptor for Shiga toxins. So they are associated with Shigella dysentery. Uh, they are associated with Shigella dysentery, E. coli, and they are also asso associated with hemolytic uremic syndrome. And recent study shows that PK antigen provides protection against HIV infection or of peripheral blood mononuclear cells. The I blood group system or the 0 to 7 in ISBT number. It was first discovered in the year 1956 by Weiner and his co-workers. It is a cold glutamine in the serum of normal individuals and patients with acquired hemolytic anemia. I means individuality. In the year 1960, Marsh and Jenkins reported anti-I and according to ISDT, the correct designation is capital I adult and small i adult. Uh, large I and small I are not antithetical antigens. So they are branch and linear carbohydrate, carbohydrate structures respectively and formed by the action of glycosyl transferase. Large I with the ISBT number 027 symbol I. The small I is uh, uh, belongs to the II collection 207 symbol I. So according to ISBT, again the correct designation is large i adult small i adult the 
large I and small I antigens. Both are high covalence antigens and have a reciprocal relationship. At birth, um, increase C small I, then decrease C large I. After 18 months, they decrease na C small I and increase na C large I. Pag adult, decrease na yung I and then increase na yung large I. So, the small I activity are in RBCs is inversely proportional to the marrow uh, to the marrow maturation time and RBC age circulation. Some people don't change their status after birth and they become the I adult. Reaction is enhanced by fissin and papain and they are resistant, resistant to DTT and glycine acid EDTA. Table 8.1 will show the eye and small eye antigens. So, the large eye adult, strong yung anti eye, weak ang yung anti small eye, and anti-IT. Pag cord, cord phenotype, weak sa anti-large eye, but strong dito sa anti-small eye adult, and a small eye, and anti-IT. Ang small eye adult is weak with anti-eye, but strong in anti-small eye, and weakest siya sa anti-IT. Eye antibodies are autoantibodies found in all sera. It needs 4 degrees Celsius and or, or enzyme-treated RBCs to detect reactivity. They are not associated in with in vivo RBC destruction. They are weak naturally occurring saline reactive IgM. They are called uh, called intubation, albumin and enzyme method enhances anti-I reactivity. Testing enzyme-treated RBCs with slightly acidified serum may cause hemolysis and may lead to problems in pre-transfusion testing. So, we should avoid room temperature testing and use anti-IgG will help you eliminate detection of cold reactive antibodies that may bind complement at lower temperature. You may also use cold auto-absorption absorption, to remove auto-antibodies. Cold auto-absorbed uh, auto serum or plasma may be used. Pathogenic, pathogenic auto-anti-I consist of strong IgM agglutinins with higher titer and broad thermal range up to 30 degrees Celsius. When peripheral circulation cools in response to low ambient temperature, these antibodies attach in vivo and cause autoagglutination and peripheral vascular occlusion or hemolytic anemia. It reacts with adult and cord cells at room temperature and at 4 degrees Celsius. Potent cold autoantibodies can mask clinically significant alloantibodies and can complicate pre-transfusion testing. Autoanti-I may be stimulated by organisms carrying uh, large eye-like antigens. Examples Patients with mycoplasma pneumoniae often develop strong cold agglutinins with large eye specificity and cause abrupt 
hemolysis. Allo anti I exist as IgG and IgM in small i adult phenotypes. I antibodies. <clears throat> Allo anti I never been described. Auto anti I are rare antibodies that give strong reactions with cord and I adult RBCs. They are weak they have weak reactions with large I adult RBCs. They are mostly IgM, saline suspended cells at 4 degrees Celsius. Only strong examples found in routine testing because, again, test cells have poor small i expression. <clears throat> Allo anti i is not seen in healthy individuals. Uh, Potent uh, examples are associated with infectious mononucleosis or the Epstein-Barr virus infection and some lymphoproliferative disorders. High titer autoantibodies with wide range, wide thermal range may cause hemolysis, but seldom only because again, I have a small i have weak expression so there are no igg anti i so there is no association with hdfn antigens and antibodies. In year 1965, Curtin and co-workers reported a cold agglutinin in malinations that did not demonstrate large eye and small eye specificity. In year 1966, Booth and colleagues confirmed and carefully described the said agglutinins. They said that these agglutinins reacted with cord RBCs. They have weak reaction with adult RBCs. They react weakly with I, small i adult. Because of this, they concluded that the agglutinin recognizes transition. Uh, recognizes transition state 
of small i and large i, hence the specificity, large i. Uh, hence the specific the hence the specificity of large i t so the t here means transition benign igm anti it was found in malinations and yanomami indians in venezuela igm and igg reacts at 37 degrees celsius and found in patients with warm autoimmune hemolytic anemias with asso uh, specially associated of Hodgkin's disease. Antibodies to compound antigens. Large I and I antigens are precursors for the synthesis of ABO and Lewis antigens, and they are internal structures on this oligosaccharides chain. ABH and I, and I determinants in the RBC membrane are carried on type 2 chains that attach either to proteins or to lipids. Because of this association of blood groups I, ABO, and Lewis, antibodies to compound antigens are demonstrated. Both antigens are present on the RBC membrane. So, Table 812, Typical Reactions of Some Cold Autoantibodies. Anti-IA anti reacts with I and A but not with Group O, I positive, or A, small i adult. Anti-IH reacts strongly in O and A2 cells than A1 cells. If anti-IH should be suspected when serum from a group A person agglutinates all group O RBCs but the compatible but is compatible with most group A donor units. Again, anti-IH should be suspected when serum from a group A person agglutinates all group O RBCs, but, in, but is compatible with most group A donor units. So this here, anti-H, you will see that it has a strong reaction with O and list in A1 because A1 has the least H antigenic sites. Anti-I strongly reacted in O and cord cells and also in the small I adult. Anti-large I strongly reactive at A1, A2, B plus O positive and in OH adult, but no reaction in cord and small i adult cells. Disease associations. Anti large I is associated with cold agglutinin disease like M pneumonia. Anti small i associated with infectious mononucleosis. Increased small i on RBCs associated with this erythropoiesis or uh, meaning they have a shortened marrow maturation time. So this is seen in acute leukemia, hypoplastic anemia, megaloblastic anemia, sideroblastic anemia, thalassemia, sickle cell disease, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria or PNH, and chronic hemolytic anemia, and also with HEMPAS. Adult eye in Asians are seen in con congenital Cataracts. So 
the MMS system or the 002 ISBT number and MMS ISBT symbol. In the year 1927, Van Steiner and Marine discovered anti-MNN on their immunized rabbits with human R disease. M and N are antithetical. In year 1947, Walsh and Montgomery discovered the large S antigen, which is gene genetically linked with M and N. In the year 1951, the small S antigen Small s, antithetical partner of the large s, was discovered. Among the whites, the frequency of these uh, antigens are as follows. Large n, small s is greater than large m, small s, which is greater than large m, small uh, large s, greater than large n, and large S. <coughs> In the year 1953, Weiner discovered the anti-U. Uh, Weiner includes uh, U as a system because uh, Greenwald discovered that U negative is S negative uh, large S negative and small S negative. Table 8.3 shows that um, almost all antigen in the MNS system are in low incidence. So they are not commonly encountered in blood bank. The genes encoding the MNS antigens are located at chromosome number 4. This, uh, this table will show you the other um, antigens in the MNS system. M and N antigens are found on a glycoprotein called glycophorin A. GPA is the major IBC, RBC, sialic acid rich glycoprotein. And um, this one. This is the GPA. GPA, as you can see, it is longer than the GPB. So here in GPA, you will see the M and N antigens. So M, with number one niya is the serine. Number five is glycine. N is with leucine and glutamic acid. M and N antigens are well developed at birth. They, they are easily destroyed or removed by the routine blood bank enzymes like lysine, papain, and bromelain, and the not so um, root, not so routinely used trypsin and pronase enzymes. Antigens are destroyed by ZZAP, AAT, alpha-chymotrypsin, chloroquine, or glycine acid beta. These antigens are heterogeneous and they are not detected on lymphocytes, monocytes, or granulocytes.
S and S antigens. So, they are found on the glycoprotein, shorter glycoprotein, glycoforin B or GPB. S is for the methionine, all S for threonine. And they are located at <clears throat> position 29. So, here is the U antigen. S and S antigens are well developed at birth and they are less easily degraded by enzyme because antigens are farther down the glycoprotein and enzyme sensitive sites are less accessible. They are destroyed by enzymes but depends on the strength of the enzyme, length of the treatment, and the enzyme to cell ratio. <clears throat> They are not destroyed by trypsin, DTT, AET, chloroquine, and glycine acid EBITDA. They are not found on platelets, lymphocytes, monocytes, and granulocytes. Anti-M are naturally occurring, react below 37 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> they are IgM and IgG. IgG is 50% to 80%. They don't bind complement. They don't react with enzyme-treated RBCs. They are common in children and in patients with bacterial infection. <clears throat> Um, they are, uh, the identification is difficult because they show dosage. Antibodies activi uh, antibody activity enhanced by increasing serum to cell ratio or incubation time or both. So, decrease incubation temperature or add potential medium like albumin, L LISS, and PEG. Anti-M are pH dependent. Specifically, a pH 6.5. Um, antibodies detected in plasma, which is slightly acidic and not in an acidified serum. They are also glucose dependent. dependent. They react only in RBCs exposed to glucose. And they react, with, they react with donor RBCs that are stored in preservative solutions containing glucose and not with freshly collected M-positive RBCs. So, as long as it does not react at 37 degrees Celsius, it is not, it is not clinically significant for transfusion. They rarely cause HDR and HDFN. Anti-N are made from M positive and negative, large S positive, or small S positive individuals. They are mainly IgM or IgG, cold reactive. They don't bind complement and react with enzyme-treated RBCs. They also demonstrate dosage. And they are not clinically significant unless it reacts at 37 degrees Celsius. Um, Anti-N are seen in cases with rare mild HDN. Anti-NF anti is a dialysis-associated anti-N, reacts with N-positive or N-negative RBCs, treated with formaldehyde. Antibody titer decreases when dialysis treatment and exposure to formaldehyde stops. Anti-NF does not react at 37 degrees Celsius and not significant in transfusion. It is associ associated with rejection of a chilled transplanted kidney. Anti-large S and anti-small S are mostly IgG, reactive at 37 degrees Celsius and AHG phase. They may show dosage. If anti-large uh, S and anti-small S is suspected, but the 
reactivity pattern is not clear, incubate test cells at room temperature, and, and immediately perform AHG. This may help the identification. So, skip nyo na yung 37 degrees Celsius na phase. They bind, complement, and they cause uh, severe HDRs with hemoglobinuria and HDFN. So, during transfusion, um, antigen negative and the cross match should be compatible because only 11% of whites and 3% of blacks are small s negative. So, difficult mag-provide ng blood unit. Large s units are easily yung large s negative na units are easily to find because 45% sa whites and 60, 69% sa blacks. GYPA, the gene for glycoforin A, and GYPB, the gene for the uh, glycoforin B, are located on chromosome number 4 at position 4Q31.21. These genes are highly homologous, meaning very similar, and probably arose by gene duplication. JYPE, another homologous gene, participates in gene rearrangements that results in variant alleles. So, figure 8, figure 8, 6, figure 8, 6 shows the misalignment of GYPA and GYPB during meiosis. After an unequal crossing over, a new GYPA-B and GYP B dash A genes encode GP A dash B and GP B A B dash A hybrid glycoforins respectively. So this one. Figure eight point seven eight seven rather is a gene conversion event. So, nucleotides from one strand of DNA are transferred to the misaligned homologous gene. If this is the coding strand, a hybrid glycoforin will be formed. The partner chromosome will be repaired and carry the naive, naive or unaltered GYPA, GYPB genes. So, Parang wala lang nangyari. Pero meron pala. The U phenotype. U antigen located on GPB very close to the RBC membrane between amino acids 33 and 30, 39. Only 1% in Africans because of a partial or complete deletion of GYPB. Anti-UIgG cause severe and fatal HDRs and HDFN. The U antigen resi is resistance, resistant to enzyme treatment, while the U antibody reacts well with enzyme-treated RB RBCs. The U variant is a is R U negative RBCs reacts weakly with anti-U. Anti-U are hetero heterogeneous, so meaning U-negative units should be a uh, cross-match to determine compatibility because there are some patients that tolerate U-variant and some patients do not. 
the ENA negative phenotype was discovered by Darn Barrow and Purahelm in 1969. ENA is for enveloped. ENA negative individuals appeared to be M negative, N negative with reduced UNAC on RVCs. ENA negative uh, results from homozygosity for a rare gene deletion at the GYPA locus. So, no GPA produced and GPB is not affected. This inheritance is called ENA negative thin because this was described from a Finnish report. ENA negative UK is a heterozygosity for a hybrid gene along with the MK gene. Anti ENA is ca uh, cause severe HTR and HDFN. It is difficult to find compatible blood and potential donors will be the siblings of the patient. MK phenotype. MK phenotype is a silent, silent gene, MK, named by Meta, Metasas and Metasas Baller in 1964. So, MKMK -MK is found in Japan in the year 1979. MK gene represents a single near complete deletion of both GYPA and GYPB. Again, MK gene represents a single near complete deletion of both GYPA and GYPB. MKMK -MK is the null phenotype of the MNS system. Other, anti other antibodies. Antibodies directed against low prevalence antigens are rarely detected by the antibody detection test but seen in unexpected incompatible cross-match. So antibodies directed against high prevail prevalence antigens are easily detected with antibody anti identification. Again, directed, uh, antibodies directed against high prevalence antigens are easily detected with antibody identification. They cause HDFN, so th there is a need to cross-match blood units. Autoantibodies to MNN are, uh, have been reported, and they fa uh, these autoantibodies fail to react with patients' uh, own RBCs. U and ENA are more common and they are associated with warm type autoimmune hemolytic anemia. This is association. MNS antigens are receptors for complement, bacteria, and viruses. GPAM is a receptor for a uh, receptor by which certain Pyelonephritogenic strains of E. coli gain entry to the <clears throat> urinary tract. GPA and GPB are receptors for Plasmodium falciparum. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> antibodies to MP1 and I react 
at room temperature and not clinically significant. Antibodies of K, lar uh, large S, small s, Duffy A, Duffy B, Kid A, Kid B, react at AHG phase and are clinically significant. All blood groups are important after knowing that patients develop unexpected antibodies. Having a knowledge of antibody characteristics, clinical significance, and antigen frequency is needed to help confirm antibodies specificity and to select the correct blood unit for transfusion. So this is to avoid, um, again, transfusion reactions and HDFN to patients. Thank you and have a great day.